Hi students, this is the fifth part. In this part, we are going to deal in detail the nuances of topic continuity and we'll see the various applications of this with re related to function. So stay tuned for this part. So after doing brainstorming over limits, finite limits, infinite limits and how to find out limits, let's come to topic that is of prime importance. Okay, so what was continuity? So a function is said to be continuous if we can draw a graph of function with one continuous line or in other words you can say that you have picked out your pen and now you are drawing a graph and if without pointing out or taking out your pen out of your paper sheet if you can draw the graph in complete go then that function in rough terms is also called as continuous function. Let's understand it more mathematically that was a more intuitive one let's get it more mathematical. In terms of mathematics the function f is called as continuous at a defined point c if the first and foremost condition is that the function has to be defined at that point that is fc is defined. The second condition that the limit when x approaches towards c should exist either from the left hand side or from the right hand side and the third point is that the value of the function at x equal to c must be equal to the value of the function which we have found out by using limits. So if a given function satisfied these three kind of informations we can say that the function is continuous and these three definitions include the mathematical definition of continuity and I think that is clear to define a continuous function. 